started about 30 years ago. Uh, initially, I started off as a unisex hairdresser and then crossed over from there, um, to which worked for a few barbers, learned my trade, came to Owlsbury, and I'm now 25 years old. Okay. Um, okay. I've been doing it 12 years, started off as a hairdresser, um, was hairdressing for a couple of years, got my MBQs and that, um, and then didn't enjoy it as much as I did do. Like when the gents used to come to the shop, I thought it was easy, you get more of a sort of a lads chat. Um, and then I just got better and better, went to a barber's and just learned from there. And I think I've been here now, what, six, six yeah, and a half six. years? Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big title. Um, I, I think it's the title, I like it. Um, it's one of the things I'm still learning every day though. I love to learn, um, it's one of my favorite things, but I. I got signed off for it, I'm, I'm associated with it now, it's, it's a cool thing to have. Okay, okay. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't do that. I like it. Unfortunately. Don't deserve one. I think the thing is, we have, we now have three shops, so within Buckinghamshire. Um, this shop is totally different to the other two shops. Uh, I think the main reason people come here is uh, the banter that we have and the atmosphere. Because we're not good at cutting air. No, we're rubbish. We're really <laughs> terrible. <laughs> All the other stuff that we do is fantastic. Yeah, we're really good at uh -huh. talking. But we've tried to brand this side of it, if you like, from, from here and have like a, a main base. So we work out this one. The other two shops are, are a little bit more mainstream, if you like. Okay. Um, we tend to... Uh, this is our base shop. We yeah, do so, so we do yeah. the sort of work that we want to do out of this shop. So uh, in itself, through whether it be through Twitter, Instagram, you know, multiple media, we get people travelling in there um, to people who come here. Everywhere, Wales, um, Paris. Which is, which is good, you know. So we're not going to knock that side of it. I started it because I like doing um, like my patterns, when I was, let's say like four years in, yeah. Instagram was, it was really quiet and, and you see a lot of the barbers and they were showing, showcasing their patterns. So, I mean, if you go back to my very first few photos, you'll see a lot of patterns and stuff like that because that's what I used to like doing. And then from there I thought, you know what, no, I'm doing good haircuts and I'll see what they get. And it's just slowly, I've hit um, Barbershop Connect, Barbers Inc. TV a few times. Um, showcase barbers, stuff like that, nasty barbers even, and and when they, when you hit them sort of barber pages, you get followers, you just get loads of followers, and then it started this little competition between us both. Yeah, well I think, I mean to be fair to him, he works really hard, um, you know, he, once he's off the shop floor, bang, he's, he's on it, he's, he's on Instagram constantly, he's on Twitter constantly. When I get paid by all my followers. Yeah. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> but I don't have the time for that. You know, I've still got to run the other shops um, as well as this place. So, you know. No, but I run it for you as well. I, I help you out. I run it yeah, for you as well. Yeah. I mean, we're part of the New World Barbers yeah. as well. That, that's my, I mean, that took up a lot of my time yeah. um, running that. So, we all, all of the New World Barbers now run that sort of. With how many of us? There's like 19 of us now. Yeah, about <laughs> This is mad. It's just growing. It's just growing and growing. But um, it's one of the things where. It's, um, we all take turns to do it, it's really good. Really, yeah. We have, um, we all sort of run our own projects out there, so, so we all work on individual stuff, and then the idea is that we work on projects that we can then collaborate on. Okay, um, okay. So we're doing various bits. And then we've got, like yeah, we've got like, we've got a, a massive stage of Barber Bar Connect, we're showcasing in Birmingham, yeah. we've got London School of Barbering, we've got the Big Andis contract. Um, we've got actually loads of stuff coming next year for us is okay. yeah massive, absolutely massive. Hopefully. Yeah, and we've got you, Larry. Yeah, and we okay. have you, Larry. Of course, we couldn't Thank do it without you. Good, we, <laughs> we literally couldn't run our clippers without you. So we've got you to thank massively. Getting more likes and Baldy. Obviously, I'm a professional one because it's about my haircuts. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> do you know what when? When you've brushed it off and, and, and finished it and styled it and, and it's there and someone can walk out from this shop as if they were going on a night out, right? That's, that, that is on my own. That, that's what you aim at. So as soon as that's done, you look at that and we go, do you know what? Yeah, that's total worthy. 
right? Okay. And, and, and that's how every haircut should leave your shop. You know what I mean? You, so, yeah, that's right. You know, no, it is what it is. That's what we've always sort of, that's how so we've told we, we don't. We don't work on the basis of uh, we want to knock out haircuts like bam, bam, bam. We're not like that. Okay. Uh, we take our time. Um, You're not, they're not that slow. Uh, no, but people expect that in here now. Um, it, it's about the quality of the work that's going out now. And it's all about reoccurring um, business. Yes, yeah. it's all about reoccurring business. You know, so I don't and, care. And people will travel to you because of that. You spend an extra five minutes on a haircut and you get that customer coming back. You know that's, that's yeah. an extra every four weeks. Yeah. Okay. That you've got, it's you know? nice. We've, we've stopped paying people to come in now. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, yeah. mate, my wages were so low. I think for for the shorter haircuts, like when we're now fading and stuff like that, you definitely get uh, a better fade off off of them. Massive satisfaction um, as well. Yes, hopefully. Yeah. So and, and the weird thing is, since we've started using them. Um, it's it's one of those things where you, you just want to fake more and more and more. It's like um, ordinarily, say if we were doing a pomp and we'd do like I don't know a half on it or something like that on the back and sides. All of a sudden it's like, mate, let's take this down to skin. Uh, and they're like, oh, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. yeah let's, let's, like let's, in fact, let's take the first layer of skin off. <laughs> uh, you know, we, 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 we've started saying that we're skull faking. You know? <laughs> But that's how it's got. It's like every echo. If we can take it short, we'll take it short on the back and sides. Because it's um, so, so, yeah. so smart. And, and it's, that's it's gives us, it, it gives you a new lease of life. Each, every, say, six months, something happens and you go, let's get on that. That is absolutely fantastic. want to do that. Um, and, it, and it just keeps pushing you through further and further and further. You're still I mean, that, yeah. 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 For me, 30 years on, and I still absolutely love every day at work. Perfect. You know, and that's what it's about. Right, now this was, because I, this was not your problem, this was no. not my problem, because I wanted the Tiao alignments on Barber Connect and, and, and on Instagram, I see a lot of American barbers with the T outliners and it was, they're, they're boxing off and, and they're, they're edging and their beard shape ups were just, you could, I couldn't do them with UK clippers. You, and people say they can, but you, you can't, you can't get that shape with, with UK clippers. Um, without, obviously you can with a cut throw and stuff like that, but just with clippers alone, I found it a lot harder. And then I, I researched getting the converters, which everyone was moaning about, they were too jolly, you had to put sponges in them, and, and it was it, it was a lot of hassle for something, it was just clippers. So then I uh, say, found out about you, saw, saw your demo, and, and we got on it, and I, I literally, I don't know where I'd be without my T-Lines now, I genuinely don't. You know, it is one of those strange things, once you've started using something that that much and it runs that smoothly, um, I couldn't imagine now going back um, to using what we used to use. Um, it's really, really strange. And I've never had such a setup that we now have. Uh, our setup is the best the best around, the best I mean, we, we probably use, here. I don't know, it's got to be close to 10 sets of clippers. For various things. Ten sets of clippers, three three scissors, oh, okay. six combs, yeah. um, you know, it, 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 two foil shavers. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's metal. It's really but when you just started off with a pair of clippers, yeah. one scissors, no yeah. fingers. When, when I started, we used one set of clippers, a big set of clippers. There was no mini clippers or detailers, anything like that. If you had to pattern, you pattern with big clippers. Um, which I still think, when we're teaching our apprentices, we still teach them that way. We still teach. We still go. You should be able to do everything with one big set of clippers. If you can't, there's something wrong. Because what if your little clippers break? Yeah. And you've got a client after for your chair. But you know what I mean. You need. You go. Oh. I oh, say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Well, we yeah, say all so. that. But now we're using about ten sets of clippers for everything, which is fantastic for us. Product is smooth. It's a smoother thing. Smooth. Okay. And, and that sounds really weird, and, and, and some people will get it, and some people won't get it. But your haircuts, when when you're going through them, and you're going around the edges, and you're just looking at them, you're going, that's that's so smooth. That is like when you when you go around that's because with with certain other clippers, you will go around, and you go oh, around, go around, come yeah. out, go around, come out, and with with the TL ones, you just one swoop, and you can just see it just coming off so smooth, and you just oh, it's amazing. I think even with with the, when we're fading now, it's, it's just that transition from literally skin to hair. 
it's, it's a smooth transition now. Okay. You know, and before you, he was really struggling to get that line out um, from skin. Mm -hmm. You'd have to rub it up. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to constantly. You know, yeah, you'd, you'd, we'd, we'd do this thing where you'd, you'd use that motion. Little round okay. circle yeah. motion just, yeah. just to try and get it out. Now, there's, there's no need. You know, we've got so many different clippers that do different things. We go literally, we, we click them onto right, that level, take that out, that level, take that out. Um, and you get that smooth run. Literally okay. from, from nothing to hair. We would, I, I would recommend it all day. Yeah. Um, there's, there's no converter, um, and I've, I've, I've said if you go onto my Instagram, Acura in the Barber, you can see my video of sort of where you would buy a normal um, everyday converter, which is meant to convert everything, and then you would get Larry's converter. So that's what I call it, it's the Larry <laughs> converter. <laughs> wow. um, and it's just so smooth, there's no sponges having to put in there, it's just run, it just, it's amazing. Yeah. I, 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 I'm never going back to probably English clippers unless they can make something like that. But You couldn't set up with the American clippers unless you had your converter. Like that, that's, that's, that's how it, it sells that, itself. That, that, that literally, you want um, American clippers, you Because have it, it runs so smooth. <laughs> and, and so without it, there, there is no point to them. You wouldn't be able to run them. You'd have to still run with European or English clippers. Um, you know, and, and that's what makes the difference on it.